Empire. Okay guys, so starting off with the makeup, I'm first going to use my Fenty Soft Matte Primer, obviously to prime and prep my skin. I'm then going to prime my eyelids using my MAC NC45 um, Studio Fix Concealer. And I just like to blend that out with my finger. Next, going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to take the color Raw Sienna and use that as my transition color. And I'm just using my Morphe M441 blending brush. Next, going into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, I'm taking this color Coco with my Morphe M332 tapered blending brush. And I'm just using that to deepen my crease a little bit. Next, going back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance Palette, I'm taking the color Cypress Umber. And I'm going to use the Sigma E44 Firm Blending Brush to just kind of focus this color on the lower ends of my crease and in my corner. Going back into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, I'm taking this color Dubai on my Flat Shader Brush by Sigma. And I'm just packing that color onto my lid. Taking a break from my eyes and going back to my face, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation and I'm in the shade 420. And I'm using my Fenty Foundation Brush for this too. Moving on to concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and I'm just going to use that to highlight under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and also on my chin. I never really highlight my forehead because my forehead sticks out <laughs> and I don't want to accentuate that. To contour, I'm using my Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick and I'm going to use that just on my cheeks and around my forehead. And I'm using the shade Ebony. And after contouring, I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend that all out. Um, I actually find that the beauty blender doesn't blend as well to me as the Tarte makeup sponge. Plus the Tarte sponge is about $4 cheaper so I actually recommend the Tarte one over the beauty blender I actually went in and decided to use the Tarte one instead after realizing that my beauty blender wasn't doing the trick. To set my concealer in place I'm using my Becca soft light blurring setting powder in the natural finish um, golden hour shade. And I'm just sweeping away the excess with my Real Techniques powder brush. To highlight, I'm taking my Dior highlighter in the number one shade. I don't think it has a name. <laughs> but I'm using my Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush. For blush, I'm taking this color in the NARS blush palette. I don't know the name of it. I apologize. But um, I'm using my Morphe blush brush to apply that. Going back into my eyes, I'm going to use my Tarte Ink Liner. And um, I'm really not the best one for teaching how to do a liner. So just disregard this part. <laughs> for lashes, I'm going to use these Bandless Lily Lashes. And I'm also not the best one for teaching how to apply lashes. I honestly just kind of sit it on my eye and hope it falls into place <laughs> but there are lots of other YouTube tutorials on how to apply lashes so you should definitely check some out to blend my lashes with the false lashes I'm just going to take my Dior show iconic mascara and for liner I'm just taking my Marc Jacobs um, pencil liner for my waterline for my lips I'm going to take current which is a lip liner by Mac and I'm going to first line my lips then I'm taking MAC um, Sin and I'm going to apply that on my lips. And to set it all in place, I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and just spray it on, make me look like skin. <laughs> and now my face is done and we can move on to the hair. 
So for this top nut bun, I'm going to be using some amazing clip-ins by Her Given Hair. Shout out to you guys for sending me these. When you first open the box, you're going to see a little sample of the clip-ins that you purchased. So that way you can try it to see if it matches for sure before you open the entire package. You'll also get a nice satin cap that you can put on your hair and the clip-ins to help you sleep at night without messing up the hair. So as you guys can see, I got the 14 inch coily hair and this is for 3C to 4A type hair. Okay, so when you first open the hair, this is what it looks like, but before you put it on, you want to co-wash it first. I'm going to be using the Cream of Nature Pure Licious Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner. And I find it a lot easier to not try to co-wash it in this big bulk like this. You wanna separate the hair and co-wash each piece individually. Then I'm just going to take a good amount of the co-wash and put it on my hands, mix it all together, and then start applying it through the hair. I find that the hair is very easy to detangle. It, there, I didn't have any problem with tangling, but you may have just a tad bit of shedding as you're running your fingers through it. It's just because the hair is very, very kinky, so it's natural. You can use a Denman brush if you would like to, but just as I like to finger detangle my hair, I also prefer to finger detangle the clip-ins too. So once I'm done co-washing the hair, it's left feeling so nice and soft. Next, I'm going to take my Shea Moisture Super Fruit Multivitamin Frizz Taming Smoothie and I'm just going to apply this kind of like a leave-in on the hair to help keep it moisturized and keep it nice and soft and shiny. You don't have to use an expensive product like this, but this is just a product that I have that I don't use on my hair, so I don't mind using it on the clip-ins. I'm just gonna rub my hands through the section that I know I'm going to use on my hair super easy again and it just makes the hair feel great and then I'm all ready to apply it to my hair. I love having these clip-ins that match my hair type because on a bad hair day like this I can use them to immediately fix me up. So first I'm going to saturate my entire head almost just to help make my hair a little bit more movable and to make it a lot smoother for when I apply some products. Next I'm taking my Eco Styler Gel with black castor and flaxseed oil to apply on my edges to really smooth them down. Usually I would use my soft bristle brush to brush my edges even more but I have no idea where it is. <laughs> so I'm just taking my Denman brush and brushing my hairs a little bit more into place. Then I'm going to take a regular ponytail holder and pull all this hair like as tight and as close to a bun as I can get it. My hair is not really long enough to do a bun, 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 but this is the closest I can get to it. <laughs> so before I apply the clip-ins, I'm going to take my Myel Organics Edge Gel and use my little toothbrush edge thing and just start laying my edges in place. Doing this before I apply the clip-ins just gives my hair some time to really set. And I will link where I get this little edge thing in the description box below. Now that my edges are laid, I'm going to take this headband thingy and wrap it around my head and let it sit while I apply my clip-ins. And I'm going to take first one weft that has three clips on it and I'm going to begin wrapping it around my bun. And the first one I always do, I pull it towards the front and clip it right into the bun. Once I have the clips in, I'm just going to take that hair and begin wrapping it around my hair. Then I'm going to take a regular bobby pin and pin that in place. Moving on to the next weft, I'm going to take another one that has three clips on it and I'm going to do the same exact thing except this time I'm going to wrap it the other way. So I'm going to clip it in the back of the bun this time. And then again, of course, I'm just going to wrap that hair around my hair. Just kind of starting to make the bun a little bit bigger. And again, I'm going to clip it in place. You can keep adding as much hair as you would like, but this is going to be my last weft, and I'm taking a bigger one this time. This one has four clips on it. And again, I'm going to just reverse which side I'm putting it on. I'm going to wrap it around the front and clip it in place. And then, of course, wrap it around. And then that is pretty much it. I just take off the little front headband thing, and my edges are nice and laid, and my bun is on fleek, not little and struggling no more. <laughs> all of the information about this video will be in the description box below. I will include all the makeup that I used and the information to her given hair. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my new blog channel if you have not already and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!